Mrs. Ferrers died on the night of the 16th of September, a Thursday. I was sent for at 8 o'clock in the morning of Friday the 17th. There was nothing to be done. She had been dead some hours. She had overdosed on sleeping pills, supposedly due to blackmail. Not to mention the police were clueless. I have no idea what happened. With gossip whirring around King's Abbot, few people had real answers. One of those people that did was known as Roger Ackroyd. He had a dinner party with several esteemed guests some members of his family and some close friends. Well, anyway, before she died, Mrs. Ferris left me a note depicting the causes of her death and what led her to do it. Someone was blackmailing her. Someone she depicted in the letter. He never did read the letter's content, not in front of us. Not to anyone. But that next morning, he was found dead. Again? Clueless. The list of suspects is endless. All wanted his money. Some were even family members. However, one among these has gone missing. Ralph Payton is now the prime suspect in the ongoing investigation. And yet, he is nowhere to be found. They have turned to the only man capable of sorting out this great mess. His name, Hercule Poirot, a master detective. He truly is one of the most cunning and brilliant minds of our century. Everyone here is hiding something from me, and I will find out what it is. I say it's time to put that brilliance to the test.